Have you been to a shoe store and been confused between a training shoe and a running shoe? Our experts today will show you how to analyze your foot and pick the best shoe. Nothing beats a Sunday morning long run. And the simplicity about running is that you just need a good pair of running shoes. I've been training people from past so many years and what I generally see, people just have one pair of sport shoes that they use for different kind of physical activities, whether it be running, walking, cycling, jogging, gymming. It is recommended and it's very important to buy a footwear which is designed for that particular activity because all the kind of different physical activities put different stress on your feet. Now let's head to the store and find out the best running shoe that fits your foot. So now we are in store and there is a huge wall full of shoes in front of you. There are separate categories like running, training, lifestyle, walking. You have to choose a shoe which suits your style, your running surface, your training goals and your foot type. So what's the best thing about running is that is the easiest possible physical activity. But it has increased the amount of injuries also. Almost 70% of runners are injured at any point of time. Bad footwear or ill-fitted footwear contributes to this number to a greater extent. You should buy your running shoes late in the evening because our foot expands throughout the day and it's even better if you have done a long run in the morning that gives you proper size and fit for your running shoe. The second thing you have to consider that the surface on which you are running is hard concrete or it's a mud track. So you need more cushioning and support on a hard surface as compared to the mud track. Now let's move on and do a little test about your foot type which will help you to find out a better pair for yourself. Every foot has some degree of pronation to absorb the shock and propel you forward. For this and how to check your own pronation, you can do a little sweat test by just putting your foot in some water, shake off the excess water and take the foot impression on the ground. If you get your foot impression like this, so that your arch is almost half the width of your foot, that means you are a neutral foot. For this type of foot, it is recommended to you either have a neutral shoe with some cushion but no support or if you have a slightly lower arch, you can use a supportive shoe with some kind of support in the midsole to avoid excessive pronation when you run longer distances. If there is very less arc on the midside of your foot or there is no arc at all, you are an overpronator. For this kind of foot, we have shoes which are specially designed, having more support in the middle that actually prevents overpronation while running and walking. If your footprint looks like this, you have a supinated foot. The arch is actually going towards the lateral side of your foot. For this kind of foot, we would recommend you have a neutral shoe with no support and very less cushioning. This will help you to run better and longer. You can also identify your foot type by watching the sole and wear and tear of the old shoe. If it's more wear and tear on the medial side of the shoe, you are an overpronator. If there is more wear and tear on the outside edge of the shoe, you are a supinator. And if there is equal wear and tear from heel to toe, you have a neutral foot. Beginners should buy a shoe which has good cushion on the heel and well transition midsole so that they can enjoy their run for the fullest. Spend about 10 to 15 minutes in the store, wear your shoes, try them out, walk it around, step up and down staircase, be comfortable in your shoes before you buy them. Wear your shoes for a few days before you head out for your first run so that the shoe breaks into your foot type and gives you comfort even in your first run. So start running guys and get fit for life. With that, it's time we head into a very short break, but there's a lot of delicious food on the other side, so do come right back.
Coming up after the break, our restaurant's pipe plays up a controversy. Go searching for the healthiest noodles in town. You're watching India Today.